I wanted to start this video explaining how Henry Creel got his powers by focusing on this moment here. When Eleven and One got into this battle where he was disintegrated and passed into a new dimension as we know as the Upside Down. The question I want to ask is, if this fight took place somewhere else besides Hawkins, would the outcome been the same? If this happened in Florida or anywhere else, would one be pushed through this barrier into another dimension? Or did this happen because Hawkins is unique, and only here could this happen, which is also why Henry was able to harness his powers after moving to Hawkins. I'm reminded of the episode The Flea and the Acrobat, where Mr. Clark is explaining how different dimensions work, and since we aren't the flea in the metaphor, we can't just go to the upside down, but if we harness enough energy, we could force our way through. However, if you're going to break a dimensional plane, you want to do it where the barrier is the thinnest because of the enormous amount of energy it takes. Which is likely why the Russians decided to infiltrate and try to open a portal in Hawkins and not somewhere else. So Hawkins is special, and the difference with the young Henry Creel in this story is that he's actually more like the flea in Mr. Clark's explanation. As Victor said, he was a sensitive child, and young Henry could likely sense something different immediately upon moving into the new house, something that he had been looking for all along and where he would find his purpose. With the barrier into the upside down dimension being the thinnest in Hawkins, it likely was a catalyst for Henry to really tap into his powers, where he would discover, as he said, how to create all his own rules. Unfortunately, Henry would run out of time because as he started holding up the mirror of nightmares to his family, it was his mother that would see through it and somehow knew it was not some demon, but Henry all along. So she contacted an expert to lock up Henry, and this expert we find out to be none other than Dr. Brenner. Which is important to note, Virginia Creel had conversations with Dr. Brenner about Henry, and these conversations likely had detailed questions to whether Virginia ever has felt like she had any telepathic powers or used any drugs. Dr. Brenner would want to know how someone like Henry could be born, and having conversations directly with his mother, Virginia, probably revealed everything he would need to know to start up his MK Ultra program. Dr. Brenner had a full background on Henry's parents and was able to begin testing to attempt to recreate special children. He was looking for another Virginia Creel, which eventually he found with Eleven's mother, Terry Ives. You see, Eleven's mother Terry also does possess some powers, as she was able to communicate with Elle when she visited her. It's likely Virginia Creel was also gifted, maybe through her lifestyle choices, and why she was easily able to see through Henry's manipulation. So Virginia likely revealed the blueprint for creating someone like Henry to Dr. Brenner, and then having young Henry in his possession, he was able to duplicate it. There is no doubt that Henry was born unique and a sociopath, he even said that he compared himself to spiders, which are solitary creatures and gods on this planet, trying to balance what is wrong. Except I often think that if Henry never came to Hawkins, would his powers have accelerated like they did? Would Henry begin training his powers trying to transcend humanity? Would he have had the connection that he did with the Upside Down and eventually be able to create the Mind Flayer? It's obvious that Henry knew there was always something more by drawing this picture, this vision he had of what eventually would be the Mind Flayer. Just like the flea on a rope, Henry could feel the presence of another dimension and sense something there. So at all costs, Henry began to try and find a way there to escape from the tortured reality that is humanity. To begin his plan to become the Predator, a god to balance what is wrong with the human world. Remember that one not just destroys but consumes victims, their powers, their memories are now part of him. After absorbing everyone in the Hawkins lab, one's powers have reached new heights, but Eleven would disobey him feeling tricked, and ironically help one achieve his end goal. Eventually the battle with Eleven finalized that plan, and maybe it was one's refusal to die and drive to transcend humans is what allowed him to move into the Upside Down instead. This different dimension welcomed him with open arms. One became an explorer of worlds that was untouched by humans, the god that he always wanted to be by evolving into his Vecna form. Finally, one was able to put in motion his plans to get revenge on the human world. This is how Henry attained his powers and hopefully I revealed a lot of the help he got along the way. Now let me know what you think about how Henry got his powers and could moving to Hawkins be the key? Would any of this even happened if the Creel family never moved? I always enjoy reading your thoughts and theories in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and smash that like button. Also, please subscribe to support the channel and turn on that notification bell to keep these theories coming.